Hey everyone, I'm Gary, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do almost everything using just ChatGPT. From exploring ideas and generating topics, to writing long-form scripts, creating images, and generating all the metadata you need, like keywords, descriptions, thumbnails, hashtags, and timestamps. I'll even walk you through how to automate video creation. Yes, you heard that right. I'll guide you through all the basic steps to build not just the foundation, but everything you need to create and run a fully automated YouTube channel by yourself. And the best part? You don't need to pay for any extra tools. Everything I'm about to show you can be done completely free. I know a lot of you will love that, so let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the first step, exploring ideas. Go ahead and open up ChatGPT, and let's start by finding a topic to work with. Let's say I want to go with the philosophy niche. As you probably know, there are already tons of successful channels in this space, and many of them focus heavily on figures like Carl Jung. But here's the thing, if you go with Carl Jung and use English as your language, you'll be diving into a highly competitive space, which makes it a lot harder to stand out and grow your channel. That's why you don't need to follow the same path or copy that style. Instead, I've created a custom sheet for my community members, and in it, you'll find tons of alternative ideas and directions you can take within the philosophy niche. So for the first ChatGPT prompt, I'll type something like this. No worries, I'll be putting all the prompts in the comments, so you can easily check them out there. Once ChatGPT generates the results, we'll go through them together and review what we've got. I saw a lot of great outputs. You can pick any theme that interests you. But when I read result number five, philosophy of the future, tech, AI, post-humanism, I was seriously impressed. Just look at some of the example video ideas. Can a robot be conscious? Or what would Heidegger say about the metaverse? That's such a fascinating direction. And honestly, it really grabbed my attention. So for this video, I'm going to go with that topic. Next, I'll continue in the same chat GPT thread and enter a new prompt. This time, I'll say something like, now I've chosen topic number five. First, could you create a list of video topics for me based on that? That way, ChatGPT can give me a full list of potential video ideas, all focused on philosophy of the future, tech, AI, and post-humanism. The next result was even better. ChatGPT broke the main theme down into more specific subtopics, like technology and consciousness, ethics, control, and society, and metaphysics and the post-human. Each of those came with a list of video titles, and I found a lot that really caught my eye. What's even better is that ChatGPT suggested it could help write scripts and even design visuals for the videos. Honestly, that's perfect. So, I've decided to go with the subtopic technology and consciousness, and the specific video idea, can AI ever be truly conscious? Now, I'll continue the conversation in ChatGPT with a prompt like, I chose the topic, can AI ever be truly conscious? Go ahead and help me write the script for it. Then I hit enter to submit the prompt and got the scripting result from ChatGPT. But honestly, I didn't really like the format it gave me. It included section titles, narration cues, and way too much structure. That's not what I'm looking for. For voiceover, I prefer a clean, continuous script that I can just copy and paste directly. No extra formatting. So I followed up in the same thread with another prompt. Please just give me the script only. Don't include sections or timestamps. First, create the hook and intro. With this prompt, I removed all the unnecessary parts and made it clear that I only want the actual script. I also asked for just the hook and intro first. That way, I can review the style and tone before asking ChatGPT to generate the rest of the script later on, once I'm fully satisfied with the direction. For now, I noticed that the script ChatGPT gave me had a very poetic style. This is pretty common. ChatGPT often leans toward a slower, more dramatic tone. But that kind of script usually requires a slow-paced voiceover, and that's not what I'm going for. So, I followed up with another prompt to adjust the tone. I don't like the poetic style. Please write the script with a fast pace and high engagement, but still keep that philosophical depth. Then click on Submit again. This time, the script I got was already matching my vision. You can still enhance it more if you want. But remember, when using ChatGPT or any AI for scripting support, you always need to prompt it clearly to shape your vision. Don't expect the perfect result on the first try. That's just how it works. At this step, of course, I need to do a very important check. Does the script work well for voiceover? So I copied a part of the script and pasted it into 11 Labs. 
I'm using the voice Mark Natural Conversation, which is a very popular choice. I left all the settings at default. Then I hit play Generate Speech to test it with my script. Now let's see the result. Everyone's talking about AI. It's writing articles, passing medical exams, generating art, coding software, and doing it better, faster, and cheaper than most humans. But here's the real question no one can answer. Is any of it conscious? Not smart? Not useful? Conscious? Yes, it's perfect. Here's a quick tip for choosing voiceovers. The voice must match the tone of your script. Since my script is conversational and fast-paced, I needed a voice that sounds natural and flows smoothly. If the tone of the script doesn't match the tone of the voiceover, the final result just won't land, no matter how good the writing is. Now, I continue to prompt like this. Please create the rest of the script for me. I'll get the full script in the philosophy of the future style, specifically under technology and consciousness. And it works great. Now, of course, I know you've got a question here. Hey Gary, I don't want to do this every time. I want one prompt to generate a full script so I don't have to repeat all the steps for every new topic. And I totally get that, so I'll give it to you right here. There are many ways to craft the perfect prompt once you've found the style that works. But here, I'm going to show you the fastest method, the one I personally use all the time. In the same ChatGPT thread, I'll just type a prompt like this. Very cool. Now could you please give me the prompt I can use to generate entire script like this? And boom, you've got exactly what you need. If you take a look at this prompt, you'll see it matches perfectly with everything we've been working on in this thread. It includes a space where you can insert any topic you want to generate a script for. You'll also notice key instructions like fast-paced, high engagement tone, and no timestamps or scene directions, just the script for voiceover delivery. All of these elements match exactly with my vision. Once you've got this prompt, you can start a new ChatGPT thread, paste it in, replace the topic, and boom, you'll get a similar high-quality script every single time. Feel free to try it out for yourself. But now I'm moving on to the next step, creating metadata like a short description, hashtags, and keywords, all fully optimized for high SEO performance. To get this kind of metadata, you can stay in the same chat GPT thread and type something like, you are a professional YouTube content writer and SEO strategist. Based on the provided video script, generate a YouTube description using the exact format below. Do not add headings or part labels. Each section must follow this structure. Then, simply define your structure or template right below that line. This is actually part of a Google Sheet template I've already crafted. It includes both the YouTube description prompt and the YouTube tags prompt, designed specifically for members of my community. It's built to work perfectly in a YouTube automation workflow using make.com. By using just these two prompts, I can generate everything I need effortlessly and still get high-quality SEO-optimized results every time. I've dropped all the suggested prompts in the comments. Feel free to check them out yourself. For now, I've already crafted a fully automated content creation lifecycle. It creates everything in just one click. Scripts, images, voiceovers, all with high-quality output. And the best part? Everything is fully customizable within this single automation scenario. You can adjust the script tone, image style, the number of images to generate, voiceover style, all in one place. All right, next, let's move on to generating images and creating a thumbnail for the video based on the script. To generate image prompts, you can use this master prompt. It's a long one, but it will give you five different prompts, each in a different style. Each of those will then generate 10 unique visual prompts for your topic. Don't worry, I'll also drop this master prompt in the comments below. Once you've got your five prompts from ChatGPT, you can copy any one of them. For the first run, I'll use the first prompt, which is designed for thumbnail-style images. It focuses on emotional expression and high contrast. I'll paste that prompt into the chat box, then replace the insert title placeholder with my actual title. To do that, I scroll up to find my previous title, copy it, and paste it into the prompt. Then I click Submit to get 10 visual prompts from ChatGPT. Once I get the 10 prompts, I'll copy the first one and paste it back into ChatGPT. But this time, I'll add a prefix like create landscape image because I'm aiming for a YouTube long-form video thumbnail. Give it a few moments to generate the images. The result? Not bad, but not quite there yet. So let's try again. For the second attempt, I'll pick prompt number 10 and repeat the same steps. Each image generation takes about 20 to 40 seconds, so it can be a bit slow if you're generating a lot of them. But this time, the result is perfect. I really like this one. 
You can take this image and drop it into any image to video generation tool like Kling AI, Vidu AI, or Hilo AI, and I guarantee you'll get an amazing result. All right, next I'll try the second master prompt, which generates images in a cinematic and dramatic style. Once ChatGPT generates the next 10 prompts, I'll again try the first one, following the same steps. Be patient, and boom, here comes a cinematic style image. It's really, really good too. At this point, I feel like the cinematic style is more engaging, so I decide to generate more images, but this time in bulk. I continue the prompt like this. Generate 20 more prompts. I want the output format like this. Then I click Submit, and ChatGPT quickly gives me 20 prompts in JSON format. Once ChatGPT finishes generating the JSON, I click Copy in the top right corner of the JSON panel, then paste it into my local Python project under allprompts.json. In the terminal, I run the command, pybatch create.py, and boom. It starts batch generating images, 10 per batch, for a total of 20 images. No more waiting one by one. I open my local save folder, and there they are. The first batch is already done. Let's review them. They look very cool. Most of them are perfect. Back in the Python terminal, I can see the script showing a 10 images generated successfully message. It's already working on the second batch. Since we have 20 prompts, we need two batches, and it only takes about one minute. Now that the second batch is done too, we can review everything together. I work a lot with ChatGPT and OpenAI tools, and with this workflow, I consistently get 60 to 80% great results. If you're using Midjourney or Leonardo AI, you often need to generate and filter tons of images. It might be cheaper, but you won't get the same consistent quality as you do with GPT Image One. And of course, this is the only model currently available that supports bulk generation via API like this. Midjourney doesn't support API. And as for Leonardo, don't use their API key. The quality is very low. Believe me, don't waste your time on that. Now let's head over to creating the thumbnail for the YouTube video. I'll use this prompt. I want to generate 10 high-quality, visually compelling image prompts for a YouTube thumbnail themed around the question, can AI ever be truly conscious? The visuals should be cinematic, thought-provoking, and symbolically represent the boundary between artificial intelligence and human consciousness. Once ChatGPT generates all 10 prompts, you can use them to start generating images. Here's the result I got when running them through my Python script. Super quick and efficient. When you have your images ready, just use Canva or CapCut to make a few edits and polish the design. This step is really fast, especially if you've already created your own thumbnail template. All right, next, let's move on to the most exciting part, where I guide you to automatically create a video as well. To do this, I'll need to create a Python script, and here's the prompt I use. I have 10 images and a voiceover audio file, MP3 format, that lasts 30 seconds. I want to create a Python script that generates a video where each of the 10 images is shown for 3 seconds. Each image has a slow zoom-in, Ken Burns style, effect. No transitions are needed between the images. The final video should combine all images and synchronize them with the voiceover audio. Please provide a complete Python script that reads the 10 images applies the slow zoom-in effect to each image for 3 seconds, merges all image clips sequentially, adds the MP3 voiceover as background audio, outputs a final video, e.g., output.mp4, that is exactly 30 seconds long. Using this, ChatGPT will generate the entire script, which you can then run to create your video. No editing tools needed. And, yes, it's completely free. To use the script, first install the MoviePy package, which allows Python to create videos. Then, in your local project folder, organize everything properly. Place your footage, images, and voiceover, MP3, in the correct structure. You can even add text overlays, subtitles, and set specific resolutions like 1080p or even 4K. Pretty awesome, right? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to accelerate your process, join my private community, where you'll unlock exclusive content templates, and workflows you won't find anywhere else. I'll even guarantee your money back if you can prove there's a better method out there than what you'll get inside my community. See you in the next video.